When I was young, I believed in God. I was really grateful to be in a Christian family. I had a number of really mature Christians that I was very close to, and I was in Bible study. I was going to a Christian college, but it was it was still an intellectual experience for me. God felt like he was far away. It was like the big G God that I didn't really know personally. I wasn't able to truly take into my heart God's grace and love for me. I wanted to know that, but I, 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 it was like something I couldn't fully connect to. And when I was 17, my, my dad died of cardiac arrest. My mom was struggling with mental health challenges, and I felt a tremendous responsibility. My approach to that was to just work harder, do more, work harder than anybody else, do more than anybody else. Wanted to know that my younger siblings were okay, my mom was okay. And so I just, I felt a lot of responsibility. And it was, it was tiring. It was exhausting. So at, at 33, I, I learned from my husband that he didn't want to be married to me anymore. I experienced tremendous grief in that. And I could no longer be the person that was trying to hold it all together anymore. I was completely lost. I felt like I was a complete failure. And all I wanted was to, to go to Jesus. And I prayed through my tears. I just, I just prayed, Lord Jesus, I am so lost and I am so broken and I am so alone and I need you. And I heard his voice. And he told me, Nadine, you are my beloved daughter. You are not alone. I am here. I love you. You were forgiven. And nothing will change that. Get up. I felt free. I felt peace, I felt tremendous love. I felt a sense of confidence that no matter how broken my life was or how imperfect I knew that I was, that God could actually use that. And that he didn't need me to be perfect because he had already made that sacrifice for me. There's been a deepening of my relationship with him and then there's been these doors that he has opened in my life to be able to serve and be used um, that I would have never expected. So it's just this openness to know that, that I don't have to have it all planned out and figured out, that, that if I just trust that he is in control and that I trust his will, then he will open those doors and has. Today, I believe that Jesus loves me. Today, I know he loves me. Today, I know that he calls me to be his hands and feet. God can use our grief to draw us to himself in ways that can transform us, to use, to use that for his good.